Well, for a couple different reasons, uh, here in Afghanistan and different continents while we're deployed, uh, we have the explosive detection capability that is a ground force multiplier for the ground force commander, uh, providing them with explosive detection for route clearance, for objectives, for VIP sweeps, and then in CONUS for when we do VIP sweeps and base security, we also have the narcotic or contraband dogs which find the narcotics and keep our installation safe. Uh, some of the programs, yes. Uh, for instance, Weir and I, I got him when he was 15 months old. I'm his only handler. This is our third, uh, third year-long rotation to Afghanistan. So we've, uh, we've, he's, he's more than just a uh, dog. He's my companion, my best friend. Uh, he confides in him. I confide in him. You know, one great thing about dogs is they don't judge you. All they are is loyal, they want water, food, and a, a friendly hand. A lot of long hours, uh, sitting outside in their kennel, going for walks, just letting them be a dog. Yes, they are military working dogs, trained to find explosives or narcotics or track people, but they're still a dog. You know, they still like to that friendly handler. They still like that friendly hand on them, just that companionship, walking with them, and and building that loyalty. The dog, the dog will trust you. The dog will do things that you never thought possible, go distances that you never thought possible. Uh, the the climate, and you know your dog. You know his ins and outs. You know when he's hot, when he's tired. You know when he's on an odor, when he's might be just out messing off and just sniffing on something different. But you know your dog, and that, that's the, the trust, that bond that, that builds. And you know your dog. Consistency and repetition. Like I said before, many hours, countless hours spent with your dog. Off days. Uh, you know Monday through Friday is the work week, but as a dog handler, it's more than that. You're on Saturdays and Sundays, you're on there at night time, you, you might go to McDonald's and get you a cheeseburger and come back and eat with your dog to build that trust and build that companionship. Uh, you know, it's the simple things that people like to do with their dogs at home, going for walks or playing with them, that's the, that's the type of building you do. So you start basic with the, with the basic obedience commands and you just keep building off of that. And when a dog doesn't do something right, you fix it on the spot and the dog team builds. It's not just the handler, it's not just the dog, it's a dog team concept. Well, I've never been scared of dogs before, but I just got the sudden sense of it. Um, I have a feeling it's going to be very uh, informative on, uh, you know, on, on how well these dogs are actually trained um, and how strong you know, they can be, even though they are you know, quite a bit smaller than we are.